6.20, I think, and this is when we are usually in the fellowship hall together um, on Sunday nights. So I just wanted to say I miss you. I know I say that all the time, but I really do miss you. And I think we're on week 10 of not being together. But I might be off because I really don't know what week it is or what day it is for that matter. So anyways, I think it's week 10. But um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I talked to the Children of Joy about this morning in Children's Sermon. And Pastor Doug talked to the big people in his sermon about what it means to have a relationship with God. So I gave the illustration that sometimes helps me a lot um, that having a relationship with God is like he is your best friend. He's always there. He's going to love you no matter what you do. He's going to forgive you and he'll never he'll never leave your side. So all the things that a best friend, you know, does. And I know a lot of us um can't be with all of our friends right now or you know, can't see a lot of our friends, but God is always with us, always wanting to be our friends. And so I told the littles in the church that sometimes Miss Christina, when she's having a hard day or needs a reminder that God is with her, that I actually hold God's hand. Like I pretend I'm holding God's hand. And it's kind of cheesy, but it is a good reminder that God is right there beside you. And he'll never leave you and he'll always love you. And he's with you no matter what. Even through this whole quarantine lockdown virus going on in the world, this pandemic right now. He's always with us. Um, and he has a he has a plan, and we have to trust that and have faith in him. So um, I found a little devotion. It's in a devotion book that I like. Pastor Christina gave me this. It's called Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing. And it's called By the Hand. And so I thought it was very appropriate for what we were going to do. It's called By the Hand. And here it goes. It says, when you're in the dark or on a narrow path, you need someone to lead you by the hand to hold your hand tight. You need someone to rely on. God says we can rely on him. I've got you by the hand and I'll never let you go. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you always have a hand to hold you. I will lead you, guide you, keep you, even through death, I will never let you go. And that is based on the Bible verse, Isaiah 42, verse 6. I will take you by the hand and guard you. So 412, I just want you to remember if you, if you have a rough day this week, um, if you need a reminder that just hold God's hand, like hold his hand and he's with us through all this crazy days. Um, I know it's a lot of unknowns. We're wondering what school is going to be like, what church is going to be like. Um, we don't know. It's a lot of unknowns and it can be scary. And so just remember that God is holding your hand and he wants you to hold his and he is always here for us. So, um, let's end our time together tonight with benediction like we do in the fellowship hall on Sunday nights. We can do right over left and we can say it together. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up its countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, 412, be at peace this week. Um, I hope we can see each other soon and hold God's hand. Bye.